All right, nerds. Ghostbusters Frozen Empire is less than 30 days away, and you're trying to look your best for either a movie premiere, Comic-Con, or even just local Ghostbusters event. But I figured today we're going to talk about the two most popular proton packs from Spirit Halloween. Which one's the best one? Which one is best for you? Let's hit that intro. Who you gonna call? All right, nerds, welcome back. It's me, your buddy, pal, Hey Archer. Welcome to Nerd Affiliated, but more specifically, welcome back to The Real Nerd Busters. That's right, the Ghostbusters side of Nerd Affiliated. And we're so happy to have you guys here with us today. If you missed the last video in this series, The Road to Frozen Empire, make sure you check that out. Hit that button up above. I forget which side it's on, so I'm just gonna put up both fingers here. And we wanna talk about the two most popular Proton Packs in the Ghostbusters community. Well, there's also this one. This one's really hard to get. So we're, we're just gonna we're just gonna push that one aside there. We're gonna talk about the other two <laughs> most popular Proton Packs. Get, get out of here. We're gonna talk about Spear Halloween's two different Proton Packs at two very different price points and figure out which one actually is the best. So sit back, enjoy some ectoplasm, Ecto cooler, whatever drink you have. <laughs> Sit back, relax, and let's talk about the proton packs. So to, to make sure that you're buying the right one, let's talk about what the boxes actually look like. If you happen to go to a store, which currently there's no spirit stores because it's February, but if you're watching this in March or around Halloween, you can go to the store. But if you happen to go to the store and you see a box there, the 80% pack actually looks like this. No window, completely sealed. You just have the person on the front. It doesn't have any markers on it that say 80%. It just says it's a Ghostbusters Proton Pack. But if you happen to see a box and it has the window on it, we can see inside of the box, that's gonna be your life size. So if you're looking at them side by side, it's easy to tell which is which. But if you happen to go to Spirit Halloween and you don't know which one you're looking at, that's your easiest way to determine. Now, when you take them both out of the box, the size difference on paper is not that crazy, but seeing them next to each other in person is where I really identified there's a big difference here. So on paper, the 80% pack is 22 inches high by 12 and a quarter inches wide and six inches deep. Whereas your life size pack is 26 inches high, 15 inches wide and 10 inches deep. They both have essentially backpack straps so you can just take it out of the box put some batteries in put it on and you're ready to rock right away now size wise the 80 percent definitely will work for a kid where the life size pack is probably going to be a little bit bigger for them depending on how old your kid is but for adults you can really rock both people have been concerned that if you have the 80 percent pack and you're a larger person like myself it's going to look kind of weird not really the case I rocked the 80% at Comic-Con, nobody really noticed. Now that you have an idea for the size, let's talk about the differences in the electronics. Now, they both take three AA batteries, you just open the back, put them in there, and you're good to go. With the 80% pack, once you hit the button, the pack turns on, it makes the sound, you can't like hold the button down and it fires the stream for longer. Now, a difference here is on the full size pack, you can actually turn it on with one button and then with a separate button, that's where you push it on. You start blasting, you're hitting that stream. And of course, but the added cool feature about the life size one is that it actually stays on if you leave it in the on position. So as you're walking around, people will see the pack fully lit up. 
the cyclotron is actually cycling. The power cell is moving. So, so it has a cooler aesthetic. People see you walking around. It's all lit up. You're good to go. Whereas with the 80%, it's only going to light up if you actually hit the button and you're firing away. All right. Now let's talk about overall value between these two packs. For $80, you're getting a Proton Pack out of the box, put it on your back, put some batteries in there, and you're rocking. You're a Ghostbuster as is. However, with the Live Size Pack, same thing. Put it on your back, put some batteries in, but there's a couple extras that come with the Life Size Pack. So first thing you'll get is a No Ghost Patch. Throw that onto your flight suit, shirt, vest, whatever you're rocking with your cosplay, you can use this no ghost patch right away. You're also gonna get two other patches. One is a patch of Slimer, which if you wanna put that on your cosplay, by all means. And then you also have one that's a Ghostbusters patch. It feels like that one's trying to be like a name tag replacement, but it's so long because it says Ghostbusters that I don't know if that really is a proper replacement for a name badge, but is what it is now something i really enjoyed in the extras was you get a pair of gloves with the purchase now these i actually did not wear at comic con because i figured it'd be kind of hard to put the gloves on and walk around and use my phone all that kind of stuff so the gloves nicely can fit in your belt loop or if you have a pocket or something you want to use them feel free to do that but getting the gloves for free as well as the no ghost patch I feel like that right away is a sweet bonus. The other two patches, take it or leave it. But you do get some nice extras with the life size pack. Now, ultimately, which pack is the best value for you and which one do I feel like is the best of the two? Ultimately, I do want to give this disclaimer. Your budget is your budget. So if $90 is all you can do, go for it. 80% is a great Proton Pack. But I'm going to give this one to the life size. Even though I've not used the life size out in public yet, upon finishing this pack, I think you actually get a lot for the value. So getting the patches and getting the gloves, I feel are nice accessories added to your cosplay. That's money saved right off the bat. So you get some good extras with the life size already increasing the value to me. The other thing that I think really makes a difference here is actually the wand that comes with the life size pack. I actually switched out the wand on my 80% pack to a Hasbro wand. And since the last video, Hasbro actually released a second Perfect. wand that's more to the color scheme of the 84 movie. So if you wanted to switch out the wands on either of these packs, you can do it. There's no functionality to it, but the wands do make noise. But it won't do anything with your pack. That's a whole different video, a whole different topic. But if you have no desire to buy a Spangler the Wand and spend the 140 or 50, whatever dollars it is for one of those, the wand that comes with the life size pack is actually pretty impressive. It's almost the same exact size as a Hasbro pack. And literally the only reason I notice a difference is because once you pick them up, then you feel the difference. If I actually had messed around with this wand before I ordered an extra Spangler wand, I probably would have just left the wand on the pack, to be honest. But if you have no desire to add any more pieces and you don't want to do any modding, the wand itself is worth the price of admission along with the pack. That combo together with the patches, with the gloves, you're rocking and rolling. You're a Ghostbuster. Let me know down below what you thought. Do you have your own pack? Do you think I'm wrong? Do you think the 80% pack is actually the better one? Get out of here. Or are you waiting for another brand to release another pack? They might, wait, nope, <laughs> nope. Let me know down below. In the next video, we're gonna be talking about the customization that we did on the life size pack. And hopefully we will be dressed up with somewhere to go. Hey, Archer Live, every Thursday, 8.15ish p.m. here on Nerd Affiliated. But every Monday morning, 9 a.m.-ish, we have Nerdy Coffee. Two different shows, two different vibes. Either way, you're stuck with this guy. Like, comment, subscribe. As Dave's Dimension says, say, keep on busting. And I'll talk to all you nerds in the next video. 
Peace.